damn bank. Oh. Uh, Cause I just read how don't give her passes. Go uh, get that get that water passes me, and don't don't give your woman that liberty to run out and do what she want to do, man. Cause when she do what she want to do, it's always gonna be the wrong decisions, man. You are the weaker vessel, man. You weren't built that way. You were built to have a loving, tender heart towards your man. You weren't built to be out here working in the street, making these hot decisions. That just that's not the way the Lord uh, made it, man. The Lord tells you in Isaiah, Isaiah, uh, like, and we could tell you, right, y'all could be mad. You get mad all you want to. The Lord said, Isaiah 55 and 8, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord Yahweh. So the way you think shit's supposed to go, it ain't the way the Lord thinking. The Lord got his own thoughts. He got his own ways. He has his own counsel on how things are supposed to go. And he wrote it in the scriptures. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth the bud and bud, and it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall, it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereto I sent it, man. So the Lord says his word ain't gonna go out void. And he told you in the mic of the seventh chapter that you're gonna be put to shame, you women, man, who are at ease in the 32nd chapter of Isaiah. You're gonna be put to shame, man, in that day. There's gonna be no way out for you. That time of Jacob's trouble is a time that's coming, man. It's, and, and, and Daniel's it tells you it's gonna be a time that never was since there was a nation. Hey, man, you women, man, that's out there, that's haughty, you proud. Hey, you out here, hey, let Esau tell you, hey, we'll give you housing if you don't deal with a man. Hey, all that shit is finna change. You have no respect for, for your uh, Israelite man, man. You know, and the Lord gonna pay you back for that. Oh, right, you so right. You know, that's how it is, man. Uh, they ain't got no respect, man. Now, I'm gonna ask you, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Okay. I've been in the middle of this in 2012, right? Mm -hmm. I ain't even met no female. Everybody going out here called me gay. Because I want to, you know what I'm saying? I say we're well. But I read the ballot. The ballot says that's not going to be a dungeon. That's not going to be a fornication. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they want to. So I've been jumped on. Me and my girl, we were talking. We're going to be jumped on. I don't mm -hmm. care. But man, uh, hey, I read the ballot. It's it what God said. I don't care what, what mm -hmm. man said. Yeah, the adultery is when you sleep with another man's wife. Right. Yeah, you could have two or three women. If they don't have no man, you can deal with all three of them. You ain't have no another man's wife. But how many of these women have, uh, ain't been with a man? Everyone you see didn't have a man. Yeah. So we in that adulterous generation, how was shot spoke of, man. Every time you deal with one of these women, you commit adultery. So, you know, hey, just, you know, but like when you blatantly mess with a man's wife, I see you got a woman. And then I see you, and then I don't, I don't see you, and then I see her, and then I'm hollering at her trying to hit. I'm wrong as hell, man. The Lord says death behind that, man. Yeah. Death to me and her. Yeah, you know? I don't want to deal with a woman, she got to be my wife. That's not what I'm going to deal with. Yeah. Man, uh, you, ain't, you ain't supposed to let them, like you said, uh, in the apocrypha, don't give that water passes, meaning you can't basically let them just do what they want to do, man. Cause you, you see the situation here, man. You go, you go in these clubs and bars, man. You, you see how our nation is, man. These women, they man, our girls, man, they out of order, man. You know. And then another thing I want to ask. You. And now, let me see. Let me read this. It's Sirach 42 and 6. It says, "Sure, keeping is good where an evil woman is, and shut up where many hands are." So you're supposed to put a hedge around them, man. You ain't supposed to really just let them do what they want to do. Right. You know, you're supposed to put a hedge around them. Mm -hmm. and that's your possession, you know? Now, no, of course, I'm not going to say that. It's a word, it's been a while back, but it's a word about this in Genesis. I know God said, you've been rich for the, uh, well, some type of clothes that uh, 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 a tough man, but I say. 
it in winter. Mm-hmm. I feel like for wearing like tight clothes to me by six. Yeah, it says they supposed in Timothy. Yeah, yeah. It says they supposed to wear modest apparel. Right. First Timothy, yeah. the second yeah. chapter. My, my understanding, my understanding though, I'm not just wrong to say that, but I mean, you know, it's too heavy, brother. I think a woman could wear a dress still Timothy. Yeah. I can show it to you. Um, yeah, show it to you. yeah. Let me show it to you. I'm going to read this first right here. I can okay. show it to you. Uh, this is uh, Sirach 36 and 20. Uh, four. You walked up. I read it before. It says, He that giveth a woman to get it a possession, a help unto himself, and a pillar of rest. Where no hedge is, there, there the possession is spoiled. So if you ain't got no hedge around it, Right? If you ain't keeping her from running around in the streets, right, then right. Ain't, it, it says, hey, hey, it's spoiled. It says, and he that have no wife will wander up and down morning, man. So if you ain't got that, that help, mate, it's just gonna be like, damn, you feel like you're missing something. Like, even though we, I don't deal with a woman, but it's always like I'm missing something. Like, Shit, man, I gotta wash my own clothes, I gotta cook my own food. I gotta clean my own house. Yeah, then I gotta get out here and try to uh, uh, make the ends meet in the society. Now, when a man work real hard all day, when you come home, man, you, hey, the woman, a woman who got your food already ready, got on the table, when you eat, gonna take you a bath, already got your water in, how you like it. Right. You know, give you a little massage and shit. You don't mind getting back out there for a woman like That's that. That's right. You see what I'm saying? But these women today, they so loose and lewd and, and wicked, because under the so-called white man, he has allowed them to be that way. Plus, he has put them over us. Every time you look around, it's a woman being put in a higher position. Like Texas just right. elected, they elected 17 judges, all women. See, and they tell you that you're supposed to use some authority over no man. Now, I know I'm gonna get to your question because I heard you, you know. You was talking about, do they supposed to wear dresses? Yeah. Yeah, they supposed to wear clothes covering their body. Right. Yeah, let me see here, Deuteronomy. Uh, Deuteronomy. I think it's 21, I wanna say. I read that. I think it's 21. Deuteronomy 22, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. It says, A woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garments. Right. For all that, all that do so are abominations unto the Lord thy power, your house. So a woman ain't supposed to wear no jeans. She ain't supposed to be wearing no ball caps like we wear. We're doing everything. Exactly. We got female be walking around in uh coveralls and shit like yeah. they men. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and then on the flip side, you got men wearing high heel shoes. These niggas got on mini skirts, and these niggas got on uh, 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 makeup. And when I say niggas, I'm saying the people of this tribe. The Negroes, now, yeah, now, the Latinos, and the Native Americans. Now, nigga, now people get that uh, twisted. Negro and Negro is two different things. A Negro, that's, for, that's white people too. Yeah, they can be niggas too. Yeah, but Negro is for, uh, that's yeah. That's that's the name. That's a that's a name they gave us in captivity. Which when you read in Deuteronomy 28 chapter, that's a byword to be called a Negro. We're Israelites. You calling us some out of our name? Right. We are the Israel. We the we the nation. The Negroes and the Latinos and the natives. Those are those are the natives. Those are Latino tribes. You got the Native American Indians in there too. When I say that, I'm talking about all of them. Cause you got you got men that are you got, you got men that are uh, of, of uh, those those other tribes, uh, the Latinos and the Indians. You got men of those tribes wear makeup too. So good. I seen uh, you no. Know? I said I one three days ago. I was down. I think, uh, what's that, fishing? Fine fish? I have dudes go back in the car. 
That's how it is, man. Hey, man, it's gonna be a penalty for that, man. It tells you, uh, it tells you right here. I'm gonna read this, cause you got him out here, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this. Let me read this to you. This is uh now you just we just read that the Lord said don't wear nothing for a woman don't wear nothing that pertain to a man right. for a man don't wear nothing that pertain to a woman. woman right right okay now this is Corinthians First Corinthians uh, six and nine First Corinthians six and nine and it says know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So if you unrighteous, you ain't gonna inherit the kingdom of God when he comes. That means you gonna die on this side. It says, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, right? Worshiping these other gods, right? You can't be worshiping all them other gods. Baphomet, you can't be worshiping the Hindi God, you can't worship Buddha, the Islam. Semiramis, Tymus, Scientology. They worship everything but worship the living power. You gotta, you gotta worship the living power. Exactly. You gotta worship the living power. Yahweh. All right, now check it out. Check it out. Ain't done yet. Ain't okay. done yet. Okay. It says, no idolaters, no adulterers, right? Right. No effeminate. Effeminate. What does effeminate mean? You look at that, it means sodomite. A, a feminine man, he gonna look like a woman. If you put on yeah. makeup, that's you being an effeminate. That's right. The Lord said you're not gonna inherit the kingdom. So basically gonna be deaf to them to, to them uh that's doing that. And it says, nor abuses of themselves with mankind. So if you're abusing yourself with mankind, that means you, you getting pumped in the ass, man. My language is 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 is, is, is my speech is rude today. It's been like that all day, but that's the spirit. If you abuse of a man, that means you laying with another man. He said you ain't gonna inherit the kingdom. How you gonna do it? I ain't had to Hey, hey, if you going by the, you, let me show you. If you going by the, the scriptures, right? Now, if you going by the scriptures, it says, 1 Corinthians 6 and 1, dare ye of any of you having a matter against another go to the law before the unjust and not before the saints. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? So we the saints, the saints are the Israelites. Right. So hey, if I'm going toward, if I'm coming out of this, I, if you're doing wrong, I'm gonna judge you from here. That's right. That's you right. already being judged by the words in this book. That's right. You might say, oh, you can't judge me. You already being judged. Already being I'm judged. just a witness. Just, you just a witness. I'm a witness. Right. I'm a witness, right. you know? Right. So you have right here in Romans, like, like you have a lot of people like, oh, this is the Old Testament, it ain't the New Testament. No, this is right in Romans, this is the New Testament. This is Romans 1 and 25. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie? The so-called white man did, right? With his policies and, and whatnot. And and worship, the, uh, and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Who is blessed forever? Amen. The creature, the creator is blessed forever. That's right. That's right. right y'all serving the creature. Y'all serving the idol more than the creator, right? That's right. You and it sure says, right. for this cause, the Most High Yahweh gave them up to vile affections, meaning a filthy uh, passion. That's what a vile affection is. For even their women did change the natural use into that which was against nature. That's why you see these lesbians running around there. Because a woman's supposed to have a man, right. and your desire supposed to be to that man, and you bring forth children for that man. That's right. Can't, right? No, can't no man have kids. Exactly. You suppose that's what that's your job. But it says uh, they 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 had that vile affection, right? It says, and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burn in lust one to another. So the man ain't even dealing with the woman no more. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, which is shameful, man, to be what the other scriptures say. You doing, you doing uh, 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 things with a man that's unfit. 
it's, it tell you, you're doing, you're doing bad things. Bad with man and not meant for bad. Exactly. Bad meant for woman, woman meant for man. It says, and receiving themselves in the recompense of their error, which was meat. So you gonna, what you're going to do, you're going to, that penalty that's due to you, you're going to get it, which is going to come when the, when, when the so-called white man brings martial law, when he bring, when he shut this city down, when they get a chance to open up fire on all you people, these women going to go down too. All you adulterers are going to go down, and all you uh, uh, feminists are going to go down. Y'all going to get killed by this white man out here. And ultimately, the thermonuclear destruction, the ICBM and the continental ballistic missiles, this is going to be the end game. That's the end game right there. This is the end game. They got they got the missiles created for destruction, man. You got these countries. All, all these all these countries got got missiles, man. And they're gonna shoot those missiles. They're not gonna they're not making them just to sit up in a uh, uh, like a, a museum. You know they're not they're, that's what they're not made for that. They're made for a purpose, man. For for the Lord's purpose. So these countries are getting ready to shoot against each other, man. You know.